Anyway, uh, okay, so same thing. You want to clear it, just good practice in case it's there, in case it's not. And again, we want to send keys, same thing, except for username, we're putting in password. Okay, so this is the same variable here that we're going to pass in later. So it, it's just really rinse and repeat here. Um, yeah, so I like to let's keep this separate for now. Put another one here. And of course, we're just going to do the same thing, sync keys and hit that enter button or return. It's enter on mine. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So on the Mac, it's return. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's it, I think, for this one. Yeah. All right. So we have boom. So now we need to actually, all right, go get the product. All right, so before we sign in, we need to go get the product. So let's go get the product. All right, so under this, you know, this is just like my to-do list. Um, so you want to find product, all right? So we pass in a cell variable, so we have access to our global variables and drive equal. So the driver, it's just good to, to have this uh, variable localized. All right, let's type in. All right, so now we need to actually go to the website. So in this case, we're going to do a test. Um, yeah, and uh, again, we need to give it time to load. So, yay, man, that's so convenient. Copy paste. All right, so uh, in, in this case, once we find the product, we want to check if it's available, right? So this is where this section comes in, you know? So we need to, uh, we're going to create a, a, a method to do this. So this type is, what, well, like product available, all right? Um, so usually Amazon has it like currently um, available with the period at the end. Yeah, I hope that it's bite me in the butt later because I just hand type that. You you, you don't want to hand type quotes. You want to copy and paste that as much as possible. But I'm being lazy because I want to type all this out. Weirdly lazy. I don't know. All right. So. Again, we want to sleep and actually call is product. No, wait. Um, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. So we want to actually make this a, we want to recursively uh, call find product again. Because uh, essentially, if it is unavailable, we want to just check again. And then just check again and check again. So, I mean, instead of using loops, you can just use recursive techniques like this, boom. Dot find product, bam, right. And if we do find it, uh, we want to actually buy the product. All right, so now the thing is Amazon has like this buy now feature so um, let's just label this. So you want to buy now. So this is a combination of maybe this and this. Because if, if you log in, again, you should have this information available already in your cart. So it should be like, boom, go. And if you don't, I recommend setting that up in advance because this bot is really just to automate your, your purchasing. So you, it, it's also safe to not put credit card information into a program. Like that's just not smart to do. Um, yeah, no. Nah. Anyway, but if you're using like a, uh, like if you want to do like Target or something like that, you may have to have, uh, I would create an object with the data that you would need for that, like shipping data. 
but I mean, I'm, I'm going through Amazon, so I don't really need to do that. Maybe that'll be for another day. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we're going to have by now. All right, so we're going to, again, take that same uh, driver, and we're going to find, now this is a button. So we want to find element by name, and I think the name is what, like submit? Oh yeah, yeah, it's submit dot by dot by, by now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then you want to actually take that variable and click. All right. So now boom, we found a button. So we found the button and then you click the button. Found the button, click the button. And uh, of course you want to sleep, give it time to load. Every time you do something, you want to sleep. Give it time, give the website time to process what you're doing. Because uh, again, website is a lot slower than local machine. Yeah, like we got CPUs and everything. Internet don't got all that, at least not directly. All right, so now after we click the button, it typically takes you to, hey, you need to sign in. So now we can just, boom, now we can call that sign in metric that we made earlier and we move on, we move on. So now we can actually place the order. So there's another screen that comes up where you have to, um, that once you uh, verify the information, you actually place the order. So this is actually the, the checkout part. Uh, so when you're using buy now, yeah, you actually don't even need this anymore. Yeah, so. I guess we don't need that. Yeah, so we're now just placing the order and that should be it. Uh, so in this case, we're doing the same thing as the buy now. We're, we're gonna get the button. So find element by name. And in this case, it is place your order. Cases matter, all cases matter. All right, and uh, again, we want to sleep. So, the, for, actually we don't, we probably don't need to sleep at this point. Hmm. But, oh yeah, okay, no, no, no. I, I don't actually wanna buy it. So let's, let's actually just get the, the text. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should clear this, huh? Had it there the whole time. I can tell I've done this before, huh? <laughs> all right, so now, okay, well, well, after you do all that, typically you would do place order, you take that same variable and click. But again, we're not going to do that because I don't actually want to buy it right now. That's, that's, that's for him. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we need to go back to this function here. Uh, or call here. So we want to create a method called is product available. So this will check that uh, check that text that says if, it, if it's currently unavailable. Again, that's Amazon's way of doing that. Usually when you're doing things like this, you, you kind of have to do some research on the website. You would, I recommend first going through the, through the website step by step like you're doing this because it's emulating that process. So if you don't know that process, it's going to make it very difficult to emulate said process. All right, so again, we have the driver equal to that. This is just, it just keeps us where we're at. So that way we're not loading up a new browser. And we want to have a variable available and we want to find that. Um, want to find element this by, by class name. Mail. Oh. Yeah, so in this case, it has like some CSS text, but usually it's color price that. 
So this is going to get you either currently unavailable or the actual price of the product, right? So let's, ooh, ooh. that text. So that text gives us the actual string information. Then we didn't want to do all that. Yeah, so that way we can actually handle it as a text, you know, words like such if it's currently. 